how to find common denominator to add fractions and this time we have three fractions to add right finding common denominator is by the process of least common multiple we had used the method which is ladder division right so we'll do ladder division to find common de denominator right so that is what we'll do so we'll get a common denominator and that denominator will be least so we call that as least common denominator so step number one for us is to find least common denominator method used will be ladder division which we learned in finding LCM right so that is the first step let's do it so which problem should I do for you I think let's do this one right so I'll do this one for you this time the other two you take as examples for practicing correct so here we have numbers in the denominator as 15 10 and 6 as you can see 5 is a common factor in the first two so we can use 5 and simplify them 5 goes 3 times in 15 2 times in 10 and 5 is not a factor of 6 so let's write 6 as such now 3 is common factor between 3 and 6 so we can factor out 3 so once we do that we get 3 times 1 is 3 2 is not a factor of 3 so just copy 2 and divide 6 by 3 you get 2 here so that is we can still have one more line to go so this time you can divide by 2 and factor out 2 from these 2 times 1 and that is what you get so what is your least common denominator it is product of these factors the least common denominator for us is equal to 5 times 3 times 2 to multiply always look for such combinations 5 times 2 is 10 10 times 3 30 so we get our least common denominator as 30 good job so let's start answering our question step by step let me copy this first it is 3 over 15 plus 1 over 10 plus 5 over 6 and we know the least common denominator for us is 30 so we got to make them all 30 how to make them 30 so this is what we will do in second step so let me copy it once again and then make common denominator as 30 so what we see here is 15 so 5 times 3 is 15 got to multiply by 2 so let's multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 10 goes 3 times in 30 we all know about it so let's do that and 6 is 5 times so 5 times 6 is 30 so once we do that we get equivalent fractions right now we can write this as 2 times 3 is 6 over 30 plus 3 over 30 plus 25 over 30 right You'll know 25 over 30 is same as 5 over 6, right? If you divide both by 5, you get back 5 over 6. 1 over 10 is same as 3 over 30, correct? So they are equivalent. So we come down to fractions which are equivalent fractions. So now what we get is equivalent fractions. But what is important about these fractions? They have common denominator with common denominator right so that is what we get now since we have common denominator we can add the numerators right so numerator is 6 plus 3 plus 25 so let me write 6 plus 3 plus 25 is in the numerator and the common denominator is 30 for us so we can write this as 6 plus 3 is 9 and 9 plus 25 is 34 so we get 34 over 30 now 34 over 30 is a improper fraction right since numerator is more than the denominator so in this case we should write it in mixed fractions so how to convert improper to mixed so we'll divide 34 by 30 so let's do that on the side so we'll do long division this time okay so we are dividing 
34 by 30. It goes one time and we get 4 as the remainder. So therefore, I could write this as 1 whole 4 over 30. 4 over 30. Now still, 4 over 30 can be simplified, correct? You can divide both by 2. And therefore, we can write this as 1, 2 over 15. So that should be our answer. 1, 2 over 15. So remember, last step, write the answer in the simplified form. Do you understand? So write your answers. Remember to write answers in the simplified form. So now the last step is write answer in simplified form. as we have shown here. I hope with this you understand how to add fractions, how to add two or more fractions, right? So that is a good practice. Go through this once again and then do these practice questions. If you have any difficulty, my email address is there. You can write to me. I'll revert back as soon as possible. Thank you and all the best.